It's a historic day in the space race. The United States' first moon landing mission in decades launched this morning. Super exciting. So yeah. if all goes well, this would mark the first time the country has landed on the moon since the Apollo missions in 1972 and the first by a private company. Xavier Walton joins us live from Florida with more on this momentous time in history. Xavier. Hey, Kelly, good morning. Yeah, it was a historic moment. Some would even say it was presidential, a presidential launch as well. In the wee hours of the morning, it was completely dark. Then all of a sudden, uh, blast off, darkness turns into light. Um, here's what it sounded like from Mission Control. We have ignition and liftoff. You are witnessing history. The first Vulcan rocket sending a commercial company's lunar lander to the moon, marking the first time since Apollo 17 back in 1972. The U.S. is going back to the moon's surface. If successful, this will be the first commercial rover to touch the moon's soil, starting a new era in space exploration. It's a dream. My heart is still pounding. And we have separation of both SRBs. This is an opportunity for commercial payloads to fly to the surface of the moon on a regular routine basis. That the means our nation's The moon-bound spacecraft scientific... named Peregrine has a long journey ahead. It needs to orbit the Earth once, then orbit the moon three times before making a soft autonomous landing. Our technology has increased tremendously uh, in complexity that now we can actually go back and uh, establish a lunar base. Astrobotic, the American space company that built the lunar lander, is carrying out six experiments for NASA, plus a dozen other payloads to the moon for paying customers. That includes transporting authenticated DNA in capsules from three American presidents, George Washington, Eisenhower, and John F. Kennedy, into deep space. Also hitching a ride into orbit as part of the Celestis Space Memorial Service, remains from famed Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry and a few other prominent original Star Trek cast members. How cool would it be to have uh, three U.S. presidents on board with the original cast of Star Trek, with uh, NASA astronauts, with eminent scientists, and from people literally from about 30 countries all right, Marky, so very, very cool. Um, the lunar lander, Peregrine, as for its journey all the way to the moon, it's got to go around a few times. Um, it is expected to land that, that soft landing on February 23rd, if that is, of course, if everything uh, goes as planned. Yeah, goes smoothly. Certainly a, a star-studded passenger list and uh, quite a ride for them. I'm sure they're looking down. Xavier Walton, thanks so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.